Yo guys, welcome back to a new video. Now today, I knew that you guys would want to see a video of me riding my bomber for the first day, rather than just seeing another video of me riding my 27.5. So, I've got the bomber right now, and I'm going to take it to my local bike shop, which is only like a five minute walk uh, from me. And they're going to... Uh, give me some tools so I can put my spare inner tube in the bomber. So hopefully this all goes well and we should be meeting Duff and Jared and all that later for a little bit only for like three or four hours but not too long so yeah hopefully everything goes to plan and I get this puncture fixed as soon as possible and I can get down to the train station as soon as possible. So I'll be back with you once the bomber is fixed. Okay guys, I didn't actually get that many um, videos today or nothing like that, but I do still wanna make a YouTube video for you guys today because it's a weekend and it'd be a waste of a day if I didn't get a video out. So when I get to the train station, I am gonna be recording a review on the 26 former so i'll be back with you when i'm at the train station and i've got all my food and i'll start reviewing my 26 bomber and tell you what i like and what i don't like about it because now as that will be the title review my 26 bomber uh you've all come here to watch that so i'm not going to waste any more of your time don't forget to leave a like subscribe turn on post notifications let's go Hey guys, so as you can see I'm with my bike and I'm back home now, so I didn't actually record on the train But I already got another flipping puncture which is annoying I guess so I need to go get an inner tube for that But I should hopefully be getting the bomber up and sorted to tomorrow because I just got it back now, so Just need to get the bomber front wheel on and it's ready to go, but um, today I'm doing a review on the 26 bomber I believe this is a 2018 one or maybe a 2019 actually I'm not too sure, but I know it's one of the newer ones because if you have an older one, it will have two little uh, things coming out there where you can attach a V-brake on it, which is kind of pointless. I don't know why they didn't just have two front disc brakes, but there you go. So with this bomber, um, I think it's a bit small for me personally. I'm about 5 foot 8, so I find this bike a bit small. I find the 27.5 bomber perfect size for me, but this 26 is a little bit too small. Now I can still um, do some tricks on it, which I'll be putting in at the end of the video, but I'm going to be going over the parts that I currently have on it. So first of all, it has these blue snake skins, which I believe come with the bike, but if they don't come blue, then I think they come red, but I think they come with blue ones. So you're going to get a pair of 26 blue snake skins, which I've already done a review on snake skins. So if after watching the whole video, you want to go check out the snake skin review, you can go check that out as well, because that's on my channel. Now this is upgraded, it's got this blue chain ring, it's like a chrome one, it looks too, not too bad, it looks pretty decent. I'm not really a fan of these pedals, I wish it had the black mafia pedals, but it's got these little metal ones which kind of have like a little cross pattern on them. Now these bikes usually come with yellow bars, as you can see it's been painted black and the uh, black is starting to scratch off so I'm going to cover that up with a, couple, a bit of paint pen soon. So another thing it will come with, well not will come with, that comes on my one is the, a pair of red ODI grips which have um, flanges, flanges, I think they're called. Um, but on your bike you'll, I think they come with a pair of Mafia hit main grips which aren't really the best and they rip and they're not very comfortable. Now the frame did come with a bomber sticker, um, as you can see, kind of see the outline from where it's kind of faded a little bit. Um, it does come with a bomber sticker. But the bomber stick's been taken off because I'm guessing it probably got a bit faded as the bike's a little bit old. Now, I don't really like the pattern that the Mafia's gone with this. It's got, like, white and, like, black stripe and a blue stripe and a red and black. I think there's way too many colours on the frame. I think they should have kept it with a maybe a white and red or a white and blue, not put both of them together because there's so many mix and match colours, and especially with yellow forks. I don't know why they thought yellow forks would look nice in it, but they did put yellow forks on. I think they should have probably put black ones or white ones and made it a little less mixed in colours. Now you could say my PK Ripple was white, red, right, white, red and blue, but they made it nice and the actual frame is only white. I think it looks a bit odd having like a blue, red, black and a white. 
right, we're <sighs> balanced again. Um, yeah, I think it looks a bit odd having a mixed match of all them colours. Now, on this bike, I think it comes with a black Mafia seat, but I got my Mike Buff seat on. It's probably my favourite seat that I've ever owned. Um, when I first got it, I thought it was a bit hard and a bit firm, but you do need to give it a few days to wear in, and as you can see now, it's quite squishy, and I really like how it feels. The combo on, I don't think it's too grippy, but at the same time, I don't think it's too slippery. Now, I do have a little bit of grip tape here, which I only put on recently, like this morning, like, not even this morning, like at like four o'clock, because I wanted to do a new trick where I landed on this pedal backwards from jumping off that and you'll see in a minute that I did actually manage to do it now I do have these Mike Buff um, ODI not ODI, SE bike bar end, no not bar ends, donuts I think they're called, yeah that's the one now as you can see there's no spoke skins on the back and there is on the front, I actually took the spoke skins off the back, off earlier because they kept on clipping on my feet I'm going to come round to doing it on the front as well I think they look a bit crap really so I'm going to be taking them off. I don't really like snakeskin, uh, not snakeskins, I don't really like spokeskins that much. I think they might give, make your bike look a little bit tacky, but some people do like them. So it's got some spokeskins on the front. Um, now the zip ties it has on, which is holding onto the brake, is like kind of colour matched. It's got a blue one and there's a red, little red one down there as well. Um, so yeah, it's that doesn't come with a bike, but the kid who had it before me probably put them on. Now the brake that you're going to get with it is a Tetra brake. This one is clearly the one for this side, but it's been flipped upside down. So I don't know what happened to the stop brake that came with the bike, but he does have an upside down front Tetro, which isn't the best, but it's not the worst brake ever, to be honest. Like, I do prefer my Shimano long levers. If, you're been, if you've been subscribed to the channel for a while, you know that the Shimano long levers are my favourite um, brakes. Now, um, coming on to the headset kind of area, I'm pretty sure it's all stock around here. Stock headset, stock, uh, stock top, stock top cap, stock, stock, top cap bolt. I can't talk, and I think it's a stock spacer as well we got in there. And all stock bolts, I'm pretty sure. Now, the cranks that come in this are stock and the wheels. Pretty much most of this area is all stock. I even think the pegs are stock, but it has got some new grip tape on that I put this morning put on this morning because I thought that the grip tape that came on it was coming off a bit. Now, would I actually want to ride this? Um, I didn't mind it. I gave it a go today. I, I, I was trying to see how it rode and it didn't actually ride too bad. Quite a few of the Mafias I've been on do lean. So if you're buying a used Mafia, um, do be prepared. Actually, even a brand new one, do be prepared that they could lean. You might need to do a couple of things like maybe change tyres some of the time. There's all sorts of little things that you can do to try and make the bike feel a lot more fresh. But this one actually does ride quite nice from my, opi from my opinion. Um, it does lean a little bit sometimes with some of the backwards tricks. But, I mean, you can't really complain about that because you are backwards on a bike. Of course, the bike's going to lean a little bit. Because when I was trying to learn land to drop up my peg backwards, I kept on like landing at one pedal and like the bike would lean off. But yeah, it was a little bit annoying. And I know that my 27.5 doesn't do that. But... Obviously, this is like, if you were, if I'd say if I was about four inches, five inches smaller, I'd say this bike could fit me quite nice, and I'd probably prefer it over the 27.5. But at my height currently, I think the 26 Bomber is too small. But if you're a height of like five foot to five foot five, five foot six, I think this bike's going to suit you quite well. And I might even recommend this over the 27.5, because it's not even a bad bike. you just got to make sure that you get one that's actually fresh and doesn't lean and doesn't have things wrong with it. So yeah, that's my overall review on my 26 Bomber. I do recommend it. I'm probably going to give it like a 7 out of 10 if I say that my Bomber is a 9 out of 10 and my fat was like an 8.5 out of 10. You might think, oh, why didn't you rate the fat higher? I'm just better on that and it's my personal opinion. Anyone can have whatever opinion they want on a bike. But me, I'm going to give this like a 6.5 or a 7 out of 10, something like that. Um, if you're small, you're going to probably like it. If you're tall, you're probably not going to like it. Because with a, such a small bike like this being so tall, it's going to make the balance point feel completely off. So yeah, that's my review on the so bike. So yeah guys, thank you for watching this video. If you did like it, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, all that good stuff. Now I will hopefully be posting a video tomorrow as well. I'm going to try and get a couple videos recorded so that you guys don't miss out on any videos because... Sometimes I don't make a stock of videos over the weekend and then I end up not posting very much during the week. I do want to try and fix that, but it might be a little bit hard because I don't really think I'm going out properly tomorrow. But 
hopefully I can manage to get a video or two recorded tomorrow, but I don't know what will happen. So thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you all tomorrow.